Hello everyone, we're going to be reacting to the PlayStation 5 Pro console, okay? How do I feel about uh, consoles in general? I think it's, a, it's an amazingly stupid investment. This is my opinion, remember. This is a stupid investment because you can literally get a computer for the same price, if not cheaper, um, that can do more than this by a very large amount. And if you're really good at playing on controllers, get yourself a Microsoft computer, right? Get yourself a PC and connect a controller, like an Xbox controller to it. And you can literally play all the same games that you wanna play. Plus with all of the games that uh, allow for cross platform queuing and everything, it literally makes no sense if you were to get a PlayStation uh, compared to an Xbox compared to a the only console that really makes sense is a Nintendo switch because with how tight that grip that Nintendo has on all of its content is you can literally only play some of those Nintendo games like Mario games Splatoon on that switch with PlayStation and an Xbox you only have a few couple of good gems that you can uh, play and then once you're finished with those it's literally you're done just get a pc we're gonna see because i i saw something right and it said like 600 700 for this playstation 5 pro and i was like okay yeah now they're bugging now they're big big tripping but we're gonna watch this trailer and we're gonna see how much this really costs what the new things are that you can do like if this if this playstation doesn't turn into like a robot like and like android mascot become like ooh, like from halo i love that sound though that sound is pretty cool let me listen to it again oh, nice okay they got this shit sounding like a horror game i'd be fucking terrified if i found that price was expensive the next leap does that does that mean that my playstation can jump out of the stand is that like a is that like a feature like when you're playing a game with haptics, it can, you know, sometimes the PlayStation jumps when your character jumps on the table and okay, my fault. Let me continue. I'm not even going to lie before this even starts. If they say they put some AI in this shit, I'm not even. What is AI going to do for you in a PlayStation 5? Literally nothing, bro. You can get Chappie GPT on your phone. What are they doing with AI in this PlayStation 5? I know they put some AI in this motherfucker. Let's continue. PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution feature only available on select PS5 games that have been enhanced for PS5 Pro when compared to PS5. PS5 Pro enhanced features will vary by game. So they said you're not getting anything on the normal PlayStation 5 and you are not getting everything on the new PlayStation 5 Pro because only some features will have spectral super resolution, whatever that is, but let's continue. I don't know what spectral super resolution is. Okay. Wait a minute, that's pretty nice. Enhanced ray tracing. Yeah, you can get that on PC. Um, vertical vertical stand sold separately for what y'all couldn't have just provided a vertical stand so people can stand their playstation 5 up like what's the point of making the vertical stand sold separately is the controller also sold separately? Like, are they doing like one of those Apple iPhone things where you can't even charge your phone if you don't buy a charger separately? Oh, is that it? It ha play has no limits. Is that it? The PS5 Pro will cost more than nine hundred fifteen dollars in the UK. Um. Oh, the PS5 Pro enhanced games will be Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Demon Souls. Ooh, Dragon's Dogma. Ooh. I'm, ooh, wait, they kind of got some... They got... Hold on, bro. They kind of got some good shit in this. For uh, that much, though, and no disk drive? 
No, that's not good at all. Okay. Yeah, 800 bucks and the vertical stand. And frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. So the original PlayStation 5 had 120 frames per second. Oh, I thought that was new for the PlayStation Pro. My fault. Looks like uh, we're going to have to scratch that off the list of new features. This better be ARC 2. Oh, never mind. That's Avatar. Oops. SSD can data at <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. Okay. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, mm. and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Graphics, graphics mode. modes. Okay. It can be a difficult choice for players. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run at 60 frames per second. Man, that game looks amazing. What game is that? Ghost of Sushi for Shifa? Mainly by reducing the graphical detail. Okay, what does this have to do with the we PlayStation 5 Pro? The graphics that the game creators aspire Here we to, go. At the high frame rates the players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in okay. three ways. Okay, what? Here's what we call the big three. Fucking hell. You much larger and increase the speed of the memory it uses. Nice. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Cool. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. Neat. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. <laughs> Why did they put Spectral in there? Or PSSR for short. So hold on, why did they put Spectral in there? Am, is there something I'm missing out on? Am I just dumb? PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail. Nice. Which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it- Okay. <laughs> is there a new Hogwarts Legacy? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, that's about that, huh? Oh, boy. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.